Hi friends, so good morning and good evening to all of you. I hope you all are doing well. So in this video, we'll discuss about update strategy. Okay, so if any one of you have worked in Informatica Power Center, so in Informatica Power Center, we have like update strategy transformation. Okay, so update strategy transformation mainly what we are doing to implement SCD type 1 mainly you might have or SCD type 2 you might have used update strategy transformation okay so what is the use of update strategy update strategy is mainly used to update your target table based on certain conditions okay so till now whatever we have discussed so far in all of the mapping what we have done we have a discussed for inserting the record into our target table or to generate some target files okay we haven't discussed any of the mapping which will update your your target table okay because in real time scenario or real time projects definitely most of the mappings like uh, like i can say that around many of the tables which you have to implement update okay in certain update based on certain conditions okay now so why how we can implement and how many types we can implement okay so mainly if i talk about to update our target table so mainly what which type of uh, tables you are updating you are mainly updating your dimension table okay so to update your dimension table based on certain condition we are uh, we are having different different strategies okay so here in this video we'll discuss about scd type 1 implementation okay you, using update strategy now so yeah, like in my previous video which what i have told you like in iacs there is no source qualifier okay instead of source qualifier what is ISS people have done they have provided source transformation okay so whatever like business logic which you have implemented so far in, in informatica power center what we were doing we are implementing everything in source qualifier now that uh, in ISES everything has been given source transformation similarly so update strategy transformation there is no separate update strategy transformation in ISES in ISES all the functionality related to your update strategy have been given in your target transformation itself while loading your target data you can implement your update strategy i hope you you are clear with this okay now let's discuss about this mapping then slowly you can understand okay so with the help of our update transformation we will try to implement a cd type 1 so if uh, some of you are not aware about a cd type 1 SCD type 1 is just like a merge operation okay like in case you are uh, I, I cannot say it's like a merge but like in case your your records are not getting matched okay so you have to insert okay in case like same record is present in your target table you have to update okay now so this is our source okay in source what we have done we have taken as usual our source table as employee table okay in target uh, what I have taken I have taken target table as employees underscore D okay in target update also what I have taken I have taken my target table as employee underscore D okay now so suppose this is my this is my uh, this is my source this is my target now so to implement I can say that slowly changing dimension it means we have to look up values in our target table okay so what I have done between that what we have taken we have taken this lookup transformation first okay this lookup transformation uh, it mainly works like a left after join in your oracle okay, or any of database okay so we have taken left uh, lookup transformation so in lookup transformation what we have done what is your incoming fields this incoming fields are all of your in uh, source uh, incoming fields okay now so after that incoming fields what we have done if you see here whenever you are you are if your name looks similar in your lookup transformation and, and in your source what you need to do you need to resolve this naming conflict it means whatever source columns which are coming you can uh, provide src underscore or any of the prefix or suffix which you can provide for source columns okay now lookup object it means what we will do this lookup object uh, where we need to look up we, we have to look up our target table because we have to compare our source data with our target data okay in case it doesn't match we have to insert okay in case like uh, it, it some of the uh, columns are not getting matched we have to update okay so what we have done we have done uh, we have taken a lookup as our target table okay so what is this multi 
मल्टीपल मैचेस वी विल डिस्कस इन दिस फ्यूचर वीडियोस अबाउट लुकअप ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन बट मेनली वी हैव टू सिलेक्ट रिटर्न एनी रो फॉर द टाइमिंग ओके नाउ लुकअप कंडीशन लुकअप कंडीशन मींस व्हाट वी हैव डन है योर एम्प्लॉय आईडी दिस एम्प्लॉय आईडी वेयर फ्रॉम वेयर इट इज कमिंग इट दिस एम्प्लॉय आईडी इज योर टारगेट एम्प्लॉय आईडी इक्वल टू सोर्स एम्प्लॉय आईडी ओके सो दिस नेमिंग कॉन्फ्लिक्ट वी व्हिच वी हैव ऑलरेडी रिजॉल्व विद द हेल्प ऑफ ओके नेमिंग कॉन्फ्लिक्ट रिजोल्यूशन now so in case both are matching okay what we have done we have return field these return fields are coming from your target column okay now so we we have done this lookup transformation okay now what we can do we can uh, just uh, drag and drop this lookup transformation with your router okay now in this router what you need to do like what what are your incoming fields if you see here in this incoming fields you will see all the ports which are coming from your source columns okay and all of your output which are coming from your target uh, lookup table okay all fields are coming here okay now in router what we can do in router we can put uh, we have created two groups one group is insert and another group is update by clicking on this plus button we can create groups okay now so what we have done if you see here in groups we uh, like we are having option of simple okay now we have to go to advanced option and what what here we have done we have provided our filter condition what filter condition which you provided employee id is null what is this employee id if you see here you should not select employee id from source as null you have to select employee id from your lookup as null okay because your source and target lookup which we are uh, uh, using in your lookup transfer that is working as left after join okay in case your uh, employee id is not present in your target group okay target table so this would be your first condition okay now if we talk about for update thing if you see here same thing we have to do if source employee id equal um, uh, uh, target employee id and source first name is not equal to source first name or source last name is not equal to source last name similarly you can put uh, all the columns which are uh, which you have to compare from source and target okay in this if 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 this condition gets true you have to put true else false okay now so once you are done with we have created router here okay now so what we can do we can uh, connect this insert operation to your target table okay so as usual what you need to do here these are your incoming fields these are this is your target okay if you see here in this target like whenever you are match uh, connecting your router to your target you will see these are four options insert update absurd delete data driven okay uh, if any one of you have worked in power center you might uh, can, you can recall in update strategy uh, like we were uh, setting data driven error everything which we are setting in power center so right now i am just using here insert only okay now so now target fields this is your target field now mapping so you, here you have to like uh, i can say that uh, keep in mind whenever you are mapping your target field with your source okay you will see all the options you will see fields from your source also and target also because these fields are coming from your lookup so you have to map your this target fields with your these source fields okay so this on this point you have to keep in mind okay so if you are matching this record will go to insert thing now if i go to tar update so here we will discuss all the update strategy transformation here okay so these are your incoming fields okay as usual all the fields will come here okay now this is my target table so here what we need to do here uh, here while selecting our target table we need to select option as data driven okay because what it will do on the basis of data okay so data driven you have to select option first data driven then data driven condition so on the basis of data driven what we need to do we need to put dd update it means it, on the basis of data it will update your target table first thing second thing you might have heard in informatica power center in case of update strategy there should be primary key okay we have to define in mapping so here you have to select on the basis of which column which you want to update on the basis of employee id column okay we we want to update okay i hope you are clear with this now as usual 
we have to map your target with your source whatever you want to insert here okay let me save this okay and let me run this okay so in this video what we have done here in this video we have tried to directly execute our uh, like uh, with the help of source transformation i think it has not been started so in this video what we have done we have tried to implement on the base of lookup and router in next video what i will do i will try to implement the same thing like uh, by using expression transformation as well okay between the route bit before the router what i will do i will try to put expression transformation and show you how it works okay so let us see if it got it is in queue it got inserted let us see let me refresh this yeah let me expand this icon you see here target insert is 107 because there was initially there was no rows in in our target table and target updated zero now let me update some rows in our source so here let me put just one two three eight okay Just one, two, three update I have done okay uh, on the basis of uh, for employee ID 101 okay now let me run this mapping okay so there are a number of ways to implement this uh, slowly changing dimension thing okay for a CD type 1 so here we have discussed uh, by directly using router transformation and all the business logic what we have done here we try to implement inside router itself in next video what i will do i will try to use expression transformation okay uh, okay and uh, once we are done with expression transformation what we will do we will try to discuss about md5 so what is md5 we will see in in future videos so here if you see here let me first if it got updated if you see here uh, in tg target update we are able to see one row only okay let me see see it has been updated okay so in next two to three videos we'll discuss further about update uh, strategy transformation but as we as we already discussed there is no update strategy transformation in iacs it's only update transformation which is already implemented inside the target uh, itself so that's all from this video thank you